Welcome back to our walkthrough series covering the starting point labs on Hack the Box. Uh, this is geared for beginners trying to learn more about penetration testing and ethical hacking. Uh, today we're going to cover the dancing machine, um, but we're going to try a different format in these videos. Uh, first, I'm going to go through the enumeration and trying to get the flag and then save the, uh, the answers for the end of the video. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, if you guys prefer this way or if I should go back to the other one. But yeah, let's get started. Okay, so we already have our target machine up. Uh, here's the IP. And let's begin with a Nmap scan. We're going to do SC and V for version and simple script scans. Back PN for skipping host discovery. Um, I'm going to throw this IP in there and let that run. Okay, now that we have our Nmap scan back, we can see that there are three open ports. Um, but looking at task one, uh, we can see that we're going to be focusing on SMB, uh, which is port 445. Now, SMB, uh, stands for server message block uh, it's basically another client server communication protocol like ftp um, used for sharing access to files printers etc on a network um, primarily uh, it's used to connect to windows uh, devices but nic systems include uh, the client components in order to connect to smb resources which we're going to be demonstrating here um so one of the ways to connect into smb from a linux device is using the command smb client um we can throw attack h so that you guys can see or you can open up the man page so uh in order for us to list the shares available um we're going to use a anonymous null session um, instead of using credentials or anything uh, to interact um, so we're going to use smb client tac l and then the target machine ip and just hit enter here okay now that we got our list of shares back um, these three right here are generally created by default when creating a uh, SMB share, and these are your administrative shares. Uh, this symbol right here basically means they're hidden, so you won't be able to see them in like your My Computer uh, folder. But um, let me know in the comments uh, what the differences are between all these shares. Now, the one that um, we're going to focus on is this last one. Uh, and in order for us to connect in, we're going to type in SMB client and then or backslashes, trailing slashes. I, I get confused every time. Uh, then the IP and then two more and then the share name with no password. And here we go. Uh, we can type help to get a list of the commands. Um, and if we do an ls, we can see there are two directories. We can cdn, do another ls, and see that there are work notes. Uh, in order for us to pull that file, we just use the command git, and it's downloaded uh, to whatever folder that you uh, connected in um are connected in from uh we can back out do another ls and then cd into here and there is our root flag um can exit out do an ls at work notes Setting up Windows Remote Management on Dancing, FTP server, Apache server. Uh, I don't know why someone would leave work notes on a 
like this on an SMB server, but the CTF machine, right? Um, we came here for the flag, and there it is. Okay, now let's knock out these questions. Uh, what does the three letter acronym SMB stand for? That is server message block. Uh, what port does SMB use? If you remember from the Nmap scan, that's 445. What is the service name for port 445 that came up in our Nmap scan? It's like Microsoft DS or something. Scroll up and find it. Yeah. Uh, what is the flag or switch we can use with SMB tool to list the contents of the share? Um, that is attack L. What is the name of the share that we were able to access with a blank password? Work shares. What is the command we can use to download? That is git. And final one flag.txt. Another one done. Before we close out of all this, um, I wanted to show you guys a website. Uh, you probably want to bookmark just for future use. Uh, you're gonna type in hack tricks and you're gonna go this one. I don't have it bookmarked on this VM. Um, let's put it on here as well. Uh, so this is a phenomenal resource when you come across ports or uh, different services that you may not know how to enumerate or uh, perform further exploitation of it. Uh, so for example, we covered uh, SMB today. Um, so if we scroll down all the way to 139.445, uh, it'll give you a brief description of the different services or ports and then possible commands or tools you can use to, to further enumerate uh, the system. So for example, here we have 445 uh, enumeration um, and different credentials you can use, et cetera. Um, I would definitely check it out and maybe go back to the other videos and look to see if you can use other techniques to find uh, certain answers to things. Best of luck. Well, that one wasn't too bad. Uh, the next box we'll be going over is Redeemer. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share it with a friend. Uh, but really, let me know if you guys like this new format of the video. It's, uh, it's easier to outline in the, in the description. Um, or I can go back and manually walk through the tasks while performing the actions if that's easier. Uh, but yeah, catch you on the next one.